In this video, I'm going to give you a look around the snug pack stratosphere. It's a hoop if you is 1.1 kilos. Comes in this really nice compression sack, has a little handle on it there. You can tie it to the outside of your bag if you need to, it's completely waterproof. Has a roll down top with a clip. So you just roll it out. The two poles are colour coded. One has a black end and one has a green. They have elastic inside, they're aluminium, pop together really nicely. And they have a nice little curve on them. This is for the black pole, has the black end on it. And this one's for the green, has a green end on it here. So it's feed your pole through. There's two loops on this, I'd always go to the outside loop. You can make it a bit tighter by going to the inside, but I don't see the need. The poles just cross over each other there. You get seven aluminium pegs. Nice little snug pack logo on them. I'd suggest maybe putting a bit of power cord in the loop there because they are quite sore to pull out. Problem that I have with those pegs at the moment is that the ground is really solid here. So I have to use these slimmer pegs. It's even a struggle to get them in. You have this here just covering up your vent. You can roll it up if you have a dry night. A little bit of bungee cord on it here, get your peg. I couldn't get the 10 pegs down any further, so. This fabric here is a 50D ripstop nylon with a 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. And the material on the base is a 210T nylon with 8,000 millimeters hydrostatic head. Inside the bivy then you have plenty of room in here, plenty of head space, you have a pocket up here. Put your phone, your head torch, whatever you want up there. That'll give you even more ventilation if it's not raining, you can leave that open like that. Having that airflow inside the bivy is really going to help you not feel too claustrophobic. It'll have a nice breeze just coming over your face. Yeah, and because the bivy is so low down, it's not going to be too harsh. Also, that cover on the front will help protect you from the big gusts of wind. Now, you don't have to have it as open as this if you don't want to. You can adjust this outside zip. And, you know, you can have it just that much or that little bit there if that's all you want. That'll keep it kind of under the storm flap as well, so it'll keep it dry for you. It has nice YKK zips, and all the seams are taped, as you can see there. They're all taped. You don't have to worry about seam sealing this. The zips run really nice. It comes down three quarters of the way there. It has a nice storm flap on it there with plenty of Velcro. I know that condensation is a big concern with these types of shelters. I've found a little trick that I use and it really helps out with the condensation issue. This is it zipped up now. There's nothing inside it, there's no sleeping bag, so there would be a little raise on it. It'll all hang down and be in contact with your legs. There'll be very little airflow on the bottom of the bivy, so it's not a great setup that way. This is a 40 litre pack, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in the foot end. You're not going to have a full pack, you're going to have your bivy out, your sleeping bag, your sleeping mat, the whole lot. So your pack isn't going to be as bulky as it is when you go in first. You'll see the difference now when I zip it up. Now you might be thinking that's going to reduce a lot of the space inside. It really doesn't. It does take a bit of getting used to having something at your feet. But I am 6 foot 2 and I have loads of room inside this bivy. Now you can see a difference there, how the fabric is held up. You have a nice bit of airflow coming in from this end. Do your best to have these vents open as much as you can. There is a two-way zip so you can open up some of the door if you really want to. That's a really nice way to limit the condensation inside the bivy. It also keeps all your gear dry, it keeps it safe and it keeps it out of sight if you're worried about stealth camping. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button, it really helped me out. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!